Hey guys, Tim here, and today I have quite a large unboxing of like five packages. And this is actually one that I want to rush through as quickly as possible, that way I can get to reading them. And in fact, actually, as soon as I got in the car from my grandmother's place, I actually had to sit down and open packages until I found the one with this one. Bastard Volume 27. Yes, it finally came out and I had to buy it. <sighs> if you think the guy that created Yu Yu Hakusho and Hunter Hunter, or Hunter X Hunter, or Hunter Hunter, however you pronounce it, if you think he has long hiatuses, like a year long hiatus, this guy took three years before his next volume came out. Yes, three years, Kazushi Hagiwara. It took him three years to put out another one. If you think uh, the Sato Brothers from High School of the Dead takes a long time, well, this guy actually takes forever. This series has been going on since 1988, I believe, and it's still not concluded. It only has 27 volumes from 1988 or 89. To give you an idea of how long he has taken, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure started at approximately the same time as this series, and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure has over 100 volumes. And this one only has 27, so that is how long this guy takes. Also, his series, whenever this volume first came out, like the first month it was out, it was like number 5 in Japan for top-selling manga. It is that good. It took three years for a new volume, and it nearly topped the charts in sales whenever he finally came out with a new one. So, Bastard is a great series. I'm incredibly pissed that it was cancelled here in America in volume 20 but I'm gonna continue buying them in Japanese and yeah so let me switch to my standard unboxing view and I will unbox the rest of this which is awesome this big box here I got a good part of a great series all of these are from Kinokuniya by the way uh, in case anyone wonders where I get my Japanese manga so let me switch my view and I will unbox all these Okay, so here everything is, and I'm going to start unboxing right away because I have quite a few packages to unbox. Bastard Volume 27, which I just had a rant about. Uh, Anidoki by Mizuki Kawashita, the mangaka of Strawberry 100%. If you want an American release of hers, Hasukoi Limited, Lilum Kiss, uh, Anidoki, and uh, G Edition, which is all other works by hers, Volume 2. Yeah, I actually had to go through a couple of these and unbox to find my bastard volume. That way I could read it, which was awesome, incredibly amazing. Dark Snyder's fight with Porno-san was great. Uh, next up we have Toll of Rude Darkness, Volume 1. Happy to have it. Can't wait to get all of Toll of Rude next. And Anidoke, Volume 1 which is awesome. Only one volume left and I'll have all of them. Okay, and this one we have uh, a Bleach book and Swing Girls or Bra Girls by Ruta Amezume. Amezume. Which I'll get around to that. Let me get this back on film. That way I can unbox it for you guys. I love Kinokuniya. They package their stuff incredibly well. Anyway, here we have Coma Bleach Volume 1. I really don't know much about it, actually. I bought it just to check it out. And there's the new like Bleach volumes and stuff on the bottom that was out at this time. There is a new one coming out with Byakuya on the front, which I really look forward to. Uh, I don't know what this is about. Can't wait to read it. I might do a review about it or something later. Uh, it's just a bleach volume that I decided to get. Next up we have Bra Girls, which was done by Ryuta Amazume, the creator of Nana Tokaru Arashi and the original which only have Arashi Volumes 1 and 2. Make sure it's the same size because it looked a little bigger. Yeah, Jets Comics. Alright. Wait, I'm not opening the how to package in this one. Anyway, this is a great series. Uh, 
It's actually one of the few I read online. I avoid reading any English titles that have been brought out in America online, but I do find it okay to read some Japanese titles, just not all the time. Plus, I buy them in Japanese now anyway, so I can read online because I know I'm going to buy them. But I'm not saying it's okay to read online. Just do it responsibly and not all the time and support the industry the best you can. Because I know not everyone is like me and can afford everything they want. But still, if you have money, don't just read online. Alright, and this one... We have... Uh, Shijo Paikyo no Deshi Kanichi. I believe it's the character book to Sion Matsuana's work. As well as Puppy Lovers from Yuta Amazume. Alright. Kenichi, which, let me open this up, uh, I travel with my Kenichi volumes, which my subscribers should know that I have, like, the first complete arc except for volume one of Kenichi, which is pretty cool. Like, I have almost all the Ragnarok arc right here, which I bought a while back last time I was in town. And now I have, I believe it's the character book. Again, I don't really know because these don't come out here and they don't have much research online for stuff like this. So I don't know unless I, until I read it, what it's about. So it's going to be pretty cool to check that out. And Puppy Lovers, which is completely in color by Ryuta Amazume, or at least it was during the online releases, like the magazine release that it was in, which, yeah, it's still like a completely full color manga. So, yeah, that's really cool. It's about a girl mangaka, and basically it's Shota, which, for those of you that don't know, uh, a younger boy falls in love with an older woman, that's what Shota is. Uh, this one is Futanari, and this one is S&M. Ryuta Amazume really, he does these stories incredibly well, and like, it can be softcore, and it's still just so great. It's just awesome. So, there's all that. Now on to the huge package, and I say huge because it's actually my biggest Japanese haul yet. And I'm really happy about it. Uh, I don't know where volume one is. I will give anyone a cookie if they can tell me what series it is without me showing any of the covers, even though it says it on the back right here. Alright, I'll give you like a five second guess to list it in the comments. Alright, you done? Alright, since probably no one got it. Medaka Bots. Yes. It's a series I've been wanting for so long. Shia has some of the volumes of it, I believe. And he was going to do a first impressions, but he disappeared off the face of the planet, actually. So, basically, I'm going to pick up where he left off and start doing Japanese titles like he was doing. Yeah. So, volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Uh, volume 7, 8, let's see here, 9, 10, 11, let's see here, 17, 12, 13, yep, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Yes, I now have volumes 1 through 17 of Madaka Bots in Japanese. I suspect this series will be coming out in America eventually, if it doesn't get cancelled over here. I believe it will be coming over because it's really popular on the scan sites, it's popular in Japan, and, well, Kenichi is super popular on the scan sites and in Japan, but 
Only the anime got brought over here because Funimation sucks. They get their hands on every anime adaptation and use the same voice actors all the time. And most manga don't make it over here like Sekire, Shikibana Hime, Kenichi. There's so many great series that the manga just does not make it over here. And that really makes me angry how the anime does. But more people support anime than what they do manga and that really pisses me off. Because I believe manga is like a thousand times better than any anime. But, yeah, that's just my opinion because you get so much more in the manga than what you do in the anime. You get filler in the anime, sure, you get some filler in the manga, sure, but the filler in the manga is created by the creator and it's so much better than any filler. Like the bounce art in Bleach, the, like animation in that was horrendous. The, the story was actually decent, but... Yeah, right now I'm just ranting and beginning, probably going to piss some people off, but I have to state my opinion on things like that, so this is like my haul of Japanese manga, or tankobon, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Yeah, I have a lot now, I'm actually incredibly, I'm probably near a hundred or so, probably more volumes in Japanese now, which I'm really happy about, because so many series just don't make it to America and I'm really fortunate to be able to buy them in Japanese and get them over here but yeah I really want to get off from here that way I can actually sit through and start reading through these series and I might do some reviews later I need volume 3 of Anedoki uh, in order to complete it it's seriously like my favorite manga by Mizuki, Mizuki Kawashita it's like so much better than Strawberry 100%. If you like that series, you would love this one. This one is just so cool. It's another Shota series, Young Boy Falling in Love with an Older Girl. Uh, everyone knows Kentaro Yabuki, the creator of Black Cat, illustrates uh, To Love and To Love Darkness, and this random Bleach book, uh, Kazushi Hagiwara, creator of Bastard, and you have Sion Matsuena, Kenichi, and you have Ryuta Amazume, which did with these, and and this is going to sound bad, but I haven't even read any of Madaka Bots, and I bought the first 17 volumes. Yes, it's a series that I have no clue what it's about or anything. I just wanted to get it, so I bought it. But this video is taking a whole lot longer than what it should be for so few volumes. So I'm going to end it. I'm going to quit ranting. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And check back later on my channel if you haven't subscribed to see more videos like this in the near future. So, yeah, around Christmas I plan on having a lot more because I'll, I will have, a, there's a month now from then, from now until then. And I'm going to have like so much more by then. And that's the next time I'm getting off work. I'll have to work until Christmas, so... You probably won't see any videos until then. In fact, this video is probably going to be updated, uploaded like two weeks after it's been filmed. That's how little time I have. So, thanks for watching. Let me go over some of these. Uh, I wish I could actually take my time and go over these instead of ranting, but... Yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Later.